there will be 2 billion elderly people in the world by 2050. However, the number of healthy years is not rising, but rather the years spent hospitalized at the later part of the lifespan. How could we fix this? Welcome on stage, Kati Hanhineva. Thank you very much for the introduction and good evening, everyone. The mission of our team is to contribute to the global goal number three, to bring good health and well-being to all, including the elderly people. One of the greatest achievements of the past century is that people are living longer than ever before. Globally, there are 800 million people over 60 years, and by 2050, this number will be more than doubled. However, the number of healthy years is not similarly rising, but merely the years spent hospitalized at the later part of life are increasing. And this poses a major burden, both on individual as well as societal level. There is an immense need to improve the quality of life of the elderly people with cost-effective ways. There is a need for preventive care and personalized treatment. But unfortunately, the currently used many medical monitoring tools don't allow for this. They are trying to look at our health through a narrow keyhole, which doesn't show the big picture. That can be very surprising. This is precisely the case with single biomarker measurements like cholesterol, for example. That is just one compound. But the truth is this. There are hundreds, even thousands of compounds in our metabolism that can likewise tell about our health status. But there are no tools in healthcare to measure this. Actually, we can do it. We have used a novel tool called metabolic profiling in our research to study, for example, the effect of food or environment on health or find biomarkers for diseases. And now we are determined to bring this cool technology available for healthcare as well. But how to enter novel technologies for the conservative healthcare? That's not an easy, neither fast task. This is why we have decided that we will first develop a self-monitoring tool based on metabolic profiling for the consumer market, aiming at early adapter groups shown here, who will bring this method to public awareness. This will facilitate the entry to healthcare, as the method will be brought to public uh, awareness and common language. Moreover, the development of the self-monitoring tool is facilitated by the fact that we can do our analysis on saliva. No need for blood, needles, nurses, anything. It's super simple. Our route to reach the final aim to improve the quality of life of elderly people has been shaped during the Helsinki Challenge competition. Currently, we are collecting samples at public events and university for our pilot study. Our aim is to have the prototype ready at the end of next year and the first generation consumer product on market on year 2019. By year 2024, we aim to have the healthcare product ready as well. The development of the consumer product is facilitating the development of the healthcare product because we will gain more experience, more funds to develop the product via development of the consumer product. We are a team of scientists based on the universities of Eastern Finland and Aalto University. And we have all the required superpowers it takes to make this happen. Therefore, if you want to support us, 
in contributing to the sustainable development goal number three, to ensure healthy lives and promote good well-being for all at all ages, including the elderly people. Please vote us to the finals with number five. Thank you very much. Thank you, Kathy. And as she said, you can vote for Metabald with number five. Uh, Sara, could you comment on Team Metabald's pitch? Yes, definitely. Uh, firstly, thank you for a very good, excellent presentation. And I think you have uh, planned a very good roadmap to solve this problem. Uh, I also like that your team was uh, a good combination of nutrition, pharmaceuticals and geriatric know-how. It's very important and you also use data design and visualization because the data is very complex you use. You, this, uh, you need also these kind of things. And it's important that you have also looking for companies because I think that companies could have a, a huge potential to use this kind of uh, knowledge you have. And I also noted yeah, that you have efforts to build vis uh, visibility to projects because you are changing so many processes. It's very uh, important that all the parties see what you are doing. So thank you very much and good luck for this competition. 